some some group that whether it's semi-annually they meet or something so I didn't know if there was structure for that and I can have that discussion with the airport director but that was just one entity I thought of that okay. maybe it would be helpful um, well, but statutorily, we're not required to have an advisory committee for the airport. Or not that, to my understanding. Yeah. I think there's a process for when you, when there's um, long-range plans, 20-year plans put together, of hearing process and things that happen. But I don't know that there's any standing okay. committee structure well, we should, or avenue for that. We should review that because one of the things that, uh, you know, one of the things that I recall is that we were supposed to have an investment committee advisory group that hadn't met for a while. Mm -hmm. and we've got that reestablished. Right. Yeah. And a reading quarter like we should. I, I hope I don't know if there's anything else there that, that um, statutorily we should have. You know, one of the suggestions out there is that the uh, jobs and family services. One of the options we can have is an advisory group as well, a citizens advisory council. So, you know, I'd like to I'd like to be able to look into that to see if that makes sense. So we'll talk to you about those. Okay. All right. New business. Attic affair. All right. <laughs> <Board>. <laughs> Take your time. Okay. Um, Attica Fair. We received um, the Attica Fair's request for uh, funding, as re as required every year. Is our funding is only eight hundred dollars for the fairs. Uh, Seneca has already asked, and we've paid theirs. They didn't ask for anything additional this year. Um, Attica is asking for six thousand. Um, and all the explanation is rising costs to help with the upkeep. Um, so they're asking for our help. Send the letter. Um, it's uh, Alan Eicholt's treasurer. It's the treasurer. We, we tried to get them to come in last year, yeah. and, and they never came in last year. year. They never came in. They didn't, right. We didn't do it. Do so our, our annual budgeted amount that we gave each fair was how much? Hey, that's all we're both. That's all we're okay. And there, I know there's been a couple years, like a kind of on every other, that each had a request and we sought out more to find out what they really needed. Mm -hmm. And we've given a little more, but certainly we have not done that every year. But I guess I would like them to, I, I, feel, like that's a, I feel like that's a form letter that comes and, 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 and we've yeah. asked them to please come in. Yes, everybody has rising costs, but come in with a specific project is an easier um, ask and understanding for us to consider the, the purpose. Because yeah. it looks like in uh, 16 we gave them some additional, 14 we yeah. gave them some additional, and then back in 11. Yeah. So I will right, we'll reach out to them and yeah. I wanted to present, I'll let you know that they. Yeah, it doesn't have to be Alan, it can be anybody. Yeah, it doesn't have to be him. Yeah. I, I know we have trouble getting. Yeah, so. Okay, the service building air conditioner unit. Yes, and I have very little information, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that the unit that we put on <laughs> five years ago at the CSP wow. building, um, it's it, it not good? working. Okay. <laughs> um, we're pushing it yeah, with the company cool. because the, it is it's five years old, it's just out of warranty. Um, they've got a 72 day lead time for any repair on it um, and you're talking over $20,000 for this repair. Um, John has suggested, lightly suggested, he can recharge it for $6,000, um, but we do not know how long that's going to last. They cannot pinpoint without fixing it. This is the old style Freon. It's stuff that's really expensive. There's unfortunately year old unit. I've been through yeah, I've been through this before and usually what happens is there's a leak someplace in the line that causes the free on to escape. I mean I don't And they know think it's this whatever this thing is that they need to rebuild, that's what's doing it. But it's seventy two days out. You know, we have concerns this you know, this is a you know, a lemon they've sold us, we've already replaced a compressor on it. Okay, it so has been. When it was under warranty? Yes, it was under warranty then. Okay, um, so 20000 bucks to repair it, how much does it cost of a new unit? John's checking into that now. We're pulling what we paid for it. Um, I didn't have time to pull that before the any, meeting. Any round idea? It's a I big mean, unit. 50, 100, less? In between there, I would say. 
because we we didn't bid it because we bought the last one on state term pricing. Okay. So I'm guessing so it was, it was over then. it was over fifty. Over. Because we bought it off state term pricing. So yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I I think we should look at a new unit or at least get this one up and running by October. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> you are kidding, right? <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I got you those, get out of the way. You can buy these carry cool units. <laughs> yeah. uh, right, Dale. Uh, right, he's got four hundred dollars this week. Courtesy of <laughs> who fans ended up uh, spray bottle? Uh, this song here. Who's no. the company? Wadsworth. And they're out of where? Uh, the Wadsworth, Ohio, or is it? They're from Ohio. I'm not sure where they're located. John deals with Wadsworth. They do. The annex building and then the justice center. They, they okay, so off. they're, but they tell us they can't get to it for 72 days. Well, it, it's they have to take this back to the manufacturer. That's why they're a little more concerned that it's it's a design problem in the unit, not just our unit, because it's a 72 day lead time. So there's, John thinks that there that there's obvious issues. So we got Wadsworth looking at it. We 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 called Palmer. They're the ones that helped us mm -hmm. develop this energy savings plan that helps get that unit. We've got them involved. And John's talking to the actual manufacturer, trying to get something moving, you know, but that 72 day lead time kind of makes me nervous. That's why I wanted to bring it to you guys right away. Yeah. Um, Anybody have any solution to it? Well, John said that once we're said, we can try to fill it. And it costs well, it's six, six to thousand fill it. Risk. Yeah. He said it could, it could drain in a week. It could make it all summer. It's a gamble. Yeah. Um, he did say that if it's a prominent enough of a leak, when they start filling it, they'll be able to tell that it's not doing the job or yeah. it's going to be out of there. So, and they can stop the fill and we have, we'll have less exposure. But um, yeah, I, we're not going to be in a position to, to, you know, make this decision, obviously, but you know, we, we I defer to John if we need to yeah. replace and make it happen. We need to. Yeah. Um, I just want I don't to want there to be money after. I mean, I don't, I'm not for the cheap fix, right? Personally. Well, let's ask it another way then. If we would decide to put another unit in, how much of how much of a time frame is that? Uh, I think John's checking on that. I talked to him about that this morning, so he was going to check to see um, to see how that goes. But I wasn't going to be here. I'm not going to be here next week. So if John comes up with some. I just want you guys have at least a little bit of knowledge. So Mike, he's gathering information. Bit of knowledge yeah. is I know. <laughs> so might the, me. might the manufacturer give us some type of a credit on this if we buy a new unit? Oh, that I don't know. I don't know if I want to buy another. Yeah. <laughs> One from that. Double down. Yeah. yeah. From that manufacturer, if they, we've had such. Don't worry, Charlene. We're gonna cut your rent in half. <laughs> half a half zero. zero. Yeah. You know. <laughs> All I can say is that it is very warm and we're on the first floor. We keep the blinds closed, we have three fans running, and there's moments where I open my door out to the parking lot. And you can only do that when someone's going to be sitting in my office for security reasons, trying to get air to flow through. Yeah, we so on. we're not on the second floor, and I know they're probably going to be sweltering here. And we soon. haven't had hot weather yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And, and the building's not set up for ventilation, we get it. When it comes to that, I will authorize that my staff dress comfortably but respectfully. So they will be sitting on ice buckets, but they will be <laughs> comfortable. <laughs> How's that? comfortable and respectful are. <laughs> yeah, that's a new one. Well, okay. you know. <laughs> All right. Things. So, so just a little so bit of information. Yep. Yeah. Well, more to come soon. <clears throat> Thanks for that. <laughs> 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 Who is, does John need our authorization if he wants to spend the six thousand trial balloon? Uh, he's got it in his budget, so he won't need extra. But I, so I wanted to ask if your thoughts on that. Surely his risk. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. He, he's inclined just because of the time frame <clears throat> to I guess, try it. But I guess that would be one thing to ask is. If we were deciding to go with the new unit, we're not going to get one before 72 days anyway, or not 60 yeah. days, mm -hmm. right. then I think you're going to have no choice but to try it. But I hate to see that. I can just tell you the one place that I happen to be in a position to try it, I ended up putting a new unit in. So it was in Florida, though. But. Yeah, yeah. And we've done that at juvenile probate before we changed out that unit. We had filled it twice. It was $1,000 to fill it. But then that's when we finally we have to buy a new unit. 
that we can't. I think if we could locate the leak, you could do something yeah. about it. It's whatever that. I, you know, I don't. Yeah. Far away from understanding that. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, anything else for new business guys besides our uh, fund advance here and the resignation? It looks like. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead with those. Okay. I have a resolution authorizing a fund advance from the general fund to the 911 fund. Uh, for three hundred seventy-four thousand three hundred eighty-five dollars and seventy-six cents. Um, this is going after last week's conversations. Um, I have a resolution accepting the resignation of Steve Hoover as a full-time paramedic for the Seneca County EMS Paramedic Response Unit, uh, effective June third. And I do have the one resolution accepting the. Administrative requirements, cost principles, and audit requirements for federal federal awards on behalf of the Seneca County Auditor. This is the one she presented last week. Um, I'm going to make that effective as of January 1st for auditing purposes. Okay, then. So that's all the resolutions I have. Okay, anybody want to approve the, res the resolutions and the fund advance? I so moved. Uh, second. Roll call, please. Commissioner Thomas? Yes. Commissioner Stacy? Yes. Commissioner Fisher? Yes. Okay, the time has come for public comment. Do we okay. have some? Pardon me, what do we call oh, bed openings? Yeah, I got a bed opening. All right, let's do that. I want to see what's Okay, I am. Uh, I'm getting a little bit then. M and B. Mm -hmm. This is for the Seneca County Township Road Program, the issue one, round 32. Um, the engineer's estimate for this project is excuse 1,092,257.1092.235.87. So the first bid, only bid, is M&B Asphalt out of Old Fort, Ohio. Their bid amount is $1,067,926.81. Uh, you would think on a million dollar bid, we'd no, get more than one bid, would you not? This one, we usually only get no, one two. bid okay. for... Yeah. All right. I think it's the, the part of this funding process of when we can ask for these bids and get them, and the other work's already lined up and they've already got so much in place. I think that always impacts, okay. the, you know, basically the time they have for work. Okay. Is that it? Yep. Okay. Now it's time for public comment. Do you have something to say, or you just bring it back to sheet? <laughs> Thomas, anything out there? No. Thanks for asking. Ronnie? Uh, could you repeat the engineer's estimate on that, please? One, I can just show it to I you. you. 1092-235-87. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. See, I just shipped it that way. <laughs> uh, hearing nothing else, we are adjourned.